All right, Ted Hickey, what's going on, man? Uh, I am at my, uh, let's see, I've been to every state tournament but two since 1984, so that's what's going on. Really? Tell me, yep. uh, tell me about uh, the event. What's the same? What's changed? Better, worse? Well, uh, the, the change for better is the quality of wrestling. The quality of wrestling in Missouri is so much better now. Uh -huh. um, you know, you see far more kids coming in as freshmen that are that are ready-made as far as they can step out here and compete for the state championship or compete for a medal. That's changed quite a bit over the course of the last 30 years. Some of that has to do with specialized coaching that kids get in the state now. A lot more specialization maybe than you once saw before. So the quality of wrestling is, is far better. Um, if I want to have any negative what's changed for the worst, I prefer the Hearn Center to the, uh, yeah. you know, to uh, this venue. This is a, is a very nice venue, but the Hearns had a little bit better feel to it for a wrestling fan. Um, don't know if that can change in the future. Of course, the girls wrestling, who would imagine that uh, as recently as five to ten years ago? And I think that's been a big success. So yeah. kudos for Misha for kind of um, being groundbreaking in that regard as far as starting the tournament. We'd like to see, you know, all... 16-man bracket next year with the girls, but for this first year, I think it went really well. So you brought up uh, specialized training, and, and I also think, you know, I'm seeing kids training more days of the week, going to more events. What's your feeling on there? Is, is it ever overkill, or is this, is this a good thing? Uh, you know, you know I'm, I'm, I'm an athletic director at, at Fort Zuma Moore. We're around 1,500 students. So where that puts us is that puts us in the large school classification. But we compete against schools that are 500 to 1,000 schools bigger than us in most sports. We couldn't field competitive teams if we didn't have multiple sport athletes. And so we really try to promote that in the school. And uh, it is tough because it's like an arms race here in, in, in certain sports, wrestling being one of those where you know, kids are training year round and then kids feel like if I don't do that, then I won't have a chance to be successful. So, you know, there there's some negative to that. I think I think we've lost not so much in the smaller school classifications, but in the bigger school classifications, maybe that you know, that kid that was a seasonal wrestler uh, that came out and, and didn't wrestle year round but was still valuable. Uh, the kids that would start when they come up for high school, you know, as, as a freshman in high school and then they develop into a quality wrestler. Um, I think we're losing that portion uh, of our of our pool, you know, and, and I don't know how we change it. It's gonna be tough to go back because again, you know, it's again there it's it's hyper competitive and this is you move through there there's quality individuals in all the classes, but as you move up into the, the class three and the class four, the depth of these kids, I mean there's a lot of good kids. Um, you talk about times changing, you're talking about thirty years ago would have been state champs and are walking home without a medal here. Yeah, yeah. So um your son, he's a senior this year. Senior, yep. You spent a lot of years coaching. He's You're a college, time, yep. college wrestler. What, what's your role in his wrestling? Are you just dad, or do you do you coach? Uh, well, you know, I coached him through youth wrestling. At, at one time, I was kind of had dual duties as the I was the head wrestling coach at, at the high school when he started. Uh, I coached actually the the eight and under, you know, for, for many years. So I was like the beginner's coach because I never wanted to coach kids before. You know, I wanted to have a gap because I was a high school coach. And then uh, 2011, I, I uh, became the AD, no longer the head coach. Um, but I still coach the youth kids, which my son was one of those. Um, so I haven't been all inclusive as far as coaching him. He certainly had other coaching. And, you know, he, he uh, trained with Nick Perler in the last few years. Uh, and then our coaches at school spent a lot of time with him. So, I'm, you know, I was his first coach. So there's that. And I help out from time to time. And that's about my role. Nice. What's it like? Compare what you're feeling when your son's wrestling versus when you're watching watching another kid. Is it is it different? No, it's, it's different. Yeah, when it's your own kids, it's definitely different. Um, it feels more like it's you. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, uh, all that nervousness and tension that I used to have as a wrestler kind of came back to me, especially as my son got into high school. Uh -huh. Especially up here, you get some of those same old feelings. Um, but you got to try to remember, you know, that's this isn't my time. My time, I had my time. Uh -huh. You know, I'm, I has been at this point as far as the wrestler was, even the coach for that matter. But you know, it's it's his time. So it's exciting to see him win the other night. 
What, uh, well, I got a son, he's almost two years old. I hope he wrestles. We'll see. What would your advice, what would your advice be to me uh, as a dad? I think, you know, you, as far as like when you start the kids wrestling, um, leave it up to the kids, you know, a little bit. I, I don't know if I would have started my son as early. Um, you know, let them follow their passion a little bit when they're little. My son, you know, we, he played a lot of baseball. We played all kinds of different sports. He's a three-sport athlete now, which is probably looking around. He's, he's probably one of only a handful at this tournament that does three sports in high school. Um, but I think, uh, you know, let the kids pave their own way, have their own path. You just got to remember, it's, again, it's, it's their time. It's, it's not yours. Well, uh, I don't really know if I have a question, but I'll tell I remember one time I was in high school. I thought I was a pretty good wrestler. Uh, I came, was hanging out with my dad in St. Louis and went up to Zoom Walt North. And uh, you beat the crap out of me oh. <laughs> for, for an hour. Uh, I, was under, was, I was under strict instructions from your dad. Yeah. So. It was, but uh, it actually was really, really good for me. Uh, I, needed, I needed that, uh, I think, at the time. Okay. I, was say, I get a, needed to put myself in check and realize I, I'm not an Olympic champion yet. So I appreciate that. All right, man. Um, you got anything else for us, Ted? No. Nope. Uh, you know, just again looking around because for me personally, as far as coming down here, this is probably the last time being on this floor. I'm going to referee next year, so maybe uh, maybe I'll be back as a referee someday. You're the man. All right, man. Thanks.